Nautilus operating a scanning electron microscope, um, taking a picture of uh, some things that we've created out of ceramic. Um, you notice how slow the picture is taking to, to update on the screen. That's because there's a trade-off between the speed that you uh, image something and the resolution. Now he just went to real life and he's zooming in. Notice how everything's getting grainy. He's got to refocus a little bit. Right now, the scale, I think, is uh, ticks on the bottom. About 10 of those ticks are uh, 500 nanometers, or 500 billionths of a meter. Just froze the screen. Our magnification, you can see at the top, is 100,000 times. Now he's taking a picture at 100,000 times. The cool thing about the electron microscope is you can dynamically zoom in and out. So one of the things we're going to do is zoom all the way out to the millimeter scale from the nanometer scale, and you'll be able to see what we're taking an image of. All right, there's our 500 nanometer. Each of those little tick marks is 50 nanometers, or 50 billionths of a meter. All right, zooming out, zooming out, zooming out. Uh, now we're at uh, 7,000 power, which is about a little bit, almost as good as you can get on an optical microscope. Keep going. This is your typical optical microscope range. All right, keep zooming, 1,000 power. Uh, all right, now well, we just zoomed out to 35 power, and what we're looking at is a little tiny wafer from the edge on. All right, and zooming in, continuing to zoom in, continuing to zoom in. And notice the faster he goes, the blurrier it is. Continuing to zoom in. All right, and he's focusing as he goes. Continuing to zoom in. I think we're just going to keep on seeing how zoomed in we can get. All right, we're back to 40,000 magnification, 60,000 magnification, 80,000 magnification. This is uh, way beyond what an optical microscope can do. 180,000 magnification, 200,000 magnification, and if we've talked about uh, optics, that's 100 nanometers across, which uh, the whole picture is about 200 nanometers across, so the whole picture is smaller than the wavelength of violet light. We are now talking wavelength of ultraviolet. It would be physically impossible to see this without a very, very small wavelength. Uh, now we're talking x-rays or electrons. And that blob is about, oh, I don't know, maybe 80 nanometers across at 800,000 power. And uh, that's our demo of this scanning electron microscope.